What's up everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Insurgents! Is there something on my head? I feel something weird on my head, but I'm not sure I can quite put my finger on it. But I don't know if I would want to put my finger in it, it looks kind of smelly. Oh, there's poop on my head! Ha! I see. What do you think about this? You think this is some funny business, Gillette? Why am I talking to myself right now? Welcome back, guys! The Fedora has been passed on to our buddy Fedoro, the newest team member of the team, the Totodile that we caught right outside of this cave here uh, in Route 2. So if you want to catch yourself a Totodile, it is right there. It is, uh, you, can, you can get it, indeed. It's actually got not a bad nature. Well, it would be, at least it doesn't lower any offensive stats, you know? Because I always hate it when that happens on my Pokemon. I actually don't even know the other natures of my Pokemon. Oh god, I forgot! Mistake has a terrible nature, and Gillette's okay. Alright, so in today's episode, we're gonna be heading through this cave here. I think it's called Cyan Cave, and right outside of here is Route 2, which is what we went through last time. I just realized, it's nighttime, and you can, like, the poop hat, or the poop hat, you can't even see it. It just looks like a big spiky hair. That is crazy. Anyway, uh, we're gonna be going through this cave here and see what kind of Pokemon and see what kind of trainers we got here. I really don't know, but if you guys are excited for this episode, be sure to leave a like down below. I was actually gonna do an, uh, a, like a literal passing on of the Fedora to uh, the Totodile by modding it because one, one really cool thing about these like hack games is that you can do your own sort of modding, which I did a little bit of that with um, the poop hat, man. That poop hat is so strong right now. I did a little bit of that with Pokemon Zeta and Omicron, and I made it so that my character actually looked like my character from my YouTube icon. Uh, so I could do that with Fedora and actually give him the Fedora that we were wearing in the last episode. That's gonna be a one-time thing, you know. The Fedora is powerful, which is why you must you must not overuse the Fedora, you know. We also must not over-say the word Fedora, so we're gonna stop saying that. I say Fedora funny, I don't know why. I, I like to say it funny, I should rather say i really hope we don't get paralyzed from the static of this pikachu because that would certainly be annoying oh gillette level 18 Ooh, learning the rock blast oh my gosh we're gonna blast some people with our rocks this is awesome rock throw was really not doing too much for us so i'm glad that we can get a better move now even though it might not be better but yeah let me know if you'd be interested in that because i was i was going to um mod it so that basically the fedora would literally like be on the sprite of our totodile our newest team buddy uh which you know he's actually gonna be really good because the upcoming gym is gonna be oh okay i just messed myself up because this guy was just a normal type so we could have come in with our donnie here who's now got the right nickname look at that isn't that awesome oh looks like we don't even have any fighting moves on donnie so my strategy wasn't even gonna work okay what am i doing right now thunderbolt is the one with low kick Huh. This should really make a speed up, though. I saw a comment saying that they should really make a speed up button for this. I'm not sure if there is, because I know that there was one for Zeta and Omicron, but I think you had to, like, hack to get it, so... Or, like, use some kind of cheat. I don't remember exactly. Oh, man, come on. Why am I not faster than you? Oh, okay, maybe I am faster than you, but only sometimes. And now I'm dead, so now I'm never faster than you. But you know who is... Probably not Gillette, considering he's paralyzed and also a rock type. So what I think I'm going to do is, since um, these fights take so long and there's no speed up... Oh my goodness, come on. I might end up trying to skip as many trainers as I can and then come back and battle them off screen. The thing is, I just have to remember to actually come back and battle them because... Uh, in the past, when I've said that, I end up forgetting to battle the trainers, like come back and battle them. So, ends up messing me up pretty badly. Uh, so I do need to remember to do that if I do decide do decide do do i've been saying do a lot maybe because we got some doo-doo on our head maybe that's why but yeah let me know what you think of that and also what you think of our team right now like should i do the the whole fedoro thing like are we gonna rock the fedoro forever because i want fedoro for the next upcoming gym because it is gonna be a fire gym and we've got two pokemon now that can handle that gym like we've got uh gillette and fedoro so i think it both be pretty good that is of course if i start to train them both because so far I've only been training Gillette, but, you know, now that we've got Fedora, we can start definitely training him up with the poop on our head. By popular demand, a lot of you guys actually asked me to put on the poop hat. I'm not sure why the poop hat, it's cool and all, but, you know, eh, look at it. What's, what's going on? I mean, we could just keep trying on hats until we find, like, the perfect one. It might end up just being the Fedora, you know, because Fedoras are awesome. Isn't that a video? It's a really bad video. It was like a Fedora's are awesome song. Don't look it up. Trust me. It's just just trust me on the fact that it is a bad video. Uh, so this guy is dark and fighting type. 
You know what, Fedoro? I believe in you, man. You're three levels down on this Pancham, but if you just gain two levels, you know you can evolve, and oh my god, I forgot this is a multiple hit move. Uh, we do have Water Gun, so that won't be that bad. Okay, or it could be terrible. It could be terrible. Um, wait. Barry is like super duper strong on this guy. Never mind. I was gonna say we can't use Mistake because it's resistant to Psychic type with being half dark, but and then I remembered, guess what? Barry's is four times super effective. Haha. <laughs> ah, you like the little leaf in your mouth, don't you, Pancham? You liked it, and then you died. Oh wait, Pancham is only fighting type. It's only Pangoro. That's uh, both types. My bad, why are you learning Sweet Scent? I do not need the Sweet Scent in my life. I've already got the Sweet Scent of my... Of my... Uh, I, I don't know. I don't really have any Sweet Scents. Like... I don't know, I've never been a person to really like using cologne or anything like that. What are you doing? Biting up? Okay. I've never been a person to really use cologne. I know that eventually, maybe, I'll, I'll start using it. You know, when I realized that it gets the ladies, not realized, because I still haven't realized it. So maybe when I do, you know, I'll start using that cologne so I can just spruce up my life with a little bit of spice. The old spice. I don't want the old spice, though, you know? I want the new spice. Beats, get out of here. We don't need you right now. As much as I love you, Beats, as much as you are a great Pokemon, we really don't need you right now, buddy. Uh, so we got Return and Silver Wind. Could teach Return to someone. Might not be too bad. And of course, we don't have any Paralyzed Heal, so what are we to do but, I guess, take on this uh, nice gentleman anyway, because we can't even dodge him. You insolent child, you can't just walk in front of me like that. How rude, respect your elders. I'm not respecting anything, man. I don't like your scarf. I don't like the way that you're looking at me with your weird eyes. I don't like that your name is Jimmy. It makes it seem like Jimmy's an old man when he's not. Why are you deceiving all these people, huh? I know Jimmy. He's not an old man. I mean, he might have a thing for scarves and canes, but no, he's not an old man. Come on. Wait, what? No. 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 Grimer's... What? what? Why does Psybeam not affect Grimer? Hold on. Hold on. What? Am I missing something here? Am I... What? Is Grimer like a half dark type in this game or ever? I I, I don't think so. So I, I'm not really sure. I, I think Psybeam is supposed to be super effective on you, Grimer. Being a poison type, but I I guess maybe not. Wait. Oh, was it not a Oh, it was a Zorua, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a Zorua. Okay. Now I see what happened. All right, so now we can go for our Psybeam. I, I was very confused for a second to the point where I started questioning Grimer's typing. And that is not something that you should usually do. So Cubone coming out next, that means that finally we got something that Fedoro can handle, or at least I hope Fedoro can handle this guy because he does evolve in one or two more levels technically. But you know, I think that off this Cubone, we're gonna get quite some EXP if we can take him down or we can get demolished. Oh gosh, come on. Come on, Fedoro. Nah, I did send him in kind of to die, though. Man, I suck at this. I I'm trying to train up all my Pokemon, but I'm just letting them all die. And Mistake just keeps on getting all of the experience. All of it is going into Mistake. She's loving it, though. I'm sure Mistake is loving the EXP right now. Do we even have a revive? Oh, my goodness. Of course we don't. Where is the EXP share? I need, I need the EXP share in my life. Just, I just, I need it. All right, we got a rock climb over there. We don't really have rock climb right now, so can't do anything about that. And of course, there's a hiker trainer right when Fedoro just died. And we have a Sableye. So I think there might be Mega Sableye in this game, but I'm not really about fighting Mega Sableye or catching a Sableye. I just don't really like Sableye. Even with the introduction of Mega Sableye, I still I don't really like the Pokemon. I also just really don't like Mega Sableye because it seems like it just hides behind its big gem and, alright, we're gonna dodge this guy so that I can come back and fight him later with Fedoro so we can get some more EXP. Why are- why is this ladder, like, backwards? Ooh, Magnemite. That's a cool Pokemon. A little bit of Tesla action. I've used a Magnemite. I, like, I think I've used more than one Magnemite, actually. I know I've used at least once, which was Tesla back in Pokemon Black and White 2. Man, I've done so many playthroughs, it's hard to remember all of the Pokemon that I've used in my playthroughs. Alright, so it looks like for this route, I'm done looking for Pokemon. All there is is Wizmer, I guess Magnemite, which is kind of rare, but there was one other Pokemon that I can't quite remember right now. So let's go repel up, and we've got a bunch of fossils in our inventory. Uh, I guess we should try and revive those, but I'm not sure if I remember where to do that, so... 
All right, we'll just keep going. I think in Zeta and Omicron, the way you revive fossils was actually with the, um, at your secret base. Because secret bases were a huge part of Zeta and Omicron. You actually get them a lot earlier on than usual, too. So, hoping this game you actually get them pretty early on as well. We got a great ball over here. Isn't that great? I love it. It's so great. The great, the greatness of a great ball. Um, all right, here's the area that I was going to look on over. There's probably some more items up here. Or nothing. Oh, man, this music. I feel like I could rap right now, but I'm not going to because I'm really bad. You know, I could rap you like a um, like a sandwich in a sandwich bag. I could do that for you. We're going to pick up a magnet, which might be okay for, El uh, what's his name? Elekid? I was about to say Electivire, but that's the last evolution, actually. All right. Well, I guess that's it for this little floor cave area thing. So we'll fight a painter. And then come back later and fight that other blonde kid over there. Because I'm not about to deal with the blonde kid. This guy looks like the one from Mythbusters. What the heck? I don't know what his name is. He's got a beret on. I think the beret is actually another one of the items that you can get in the uh, in the thing. Donnie, you really need some fighting moves, bro. Like, if you had some fighting moves, Donnie, there's so many normal types that you could be destroying right now. It's like if I started using Cologne, you know? It's like it's almost unfair, which is why I'm not going to do that. Oh, gosh, you've got the Moody. Oh, okay. I thought it only raised the stat, but I guess it also lowers something. Oh my goodness. What is up with our misses right now? I'm not talking about them misses. I'm talking about the missing of the attacks. Which I, I don't like it. Oh, come on. Oh, it's because he got evasiveness. Oh my goodness. Come on. Are you for real right now? Smear girl, sticky web, stealth rock, and you've got all of this moody going on. Oh my god. If only Thunderbolt was alive, we could use Swift or Shockwave. This never misses. Please lower his evasiveness. I would please lower the... Oh, my goodness. Come on. And and you're going to... To another Smeargle, too? Come on. Evasiveness. No, you lowered its accuracy. I need... Oh, my God. This one's got Protect. Of course this one's got Protect. Of course this one has Protect. Oh my goodness. You know, if it would actually go for an attack, I would very much appreciate that. But it's not going to. I know it's not. So, let's see. We've got another Protect coming in, probably. Why is it getting, like, so many stats now? Oh, okay. Well, thanks for that, Smeargle. You know, you're really smart. Th that Pokemon was literally built to be annoying. It wasn't even built to do anything. It was calm minding. It was doing everything. Why do you get to Moody as you switch in? What is this? I thought that's at the end of the, of the, what? And of course he gets a special attack or a special defense. Oh, accuracy. Just as long as you don't get any evasion. I would love that. Just please, no evasion and I'll be fine with that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm just saying that because this Pokemon is literally useless. Like all it's doing is stalling. There's, there's, there's no utility. Well, say there's no utility, but it's all utility is the way I should say that. So thank you so much, dude from Mythbusters. Featuring the other guy from Mythbusters. I don't know their names at all. I know one of them is Jamie, I think. But I don't know. I haven't watched Mythbusters in a long time. I don't even know if it's still on air. Only reason I know it is because they were in a in one of those epic rap battles. And we made it to Sun Touch City. What do you think of my hat, man? It's nice and stinky. Whoa, this music. I recognize this. What is this, though? I definitely recognize it, but I can't I can't think of what Pokemon game it's from. Wow, we that is one huge statue. Is this a statue? What is that? Is that a huge statue? I don't know what's happening with it. Is it kind of like that Dragon Ball Z, like Kami's Tower, where it's like super duper tall? Maybe there's like what the what is this? There's more than one of them, so I don't know what he that kid is talking about. But I don't know what those are either. Maybe there are lights up in the sky. Probably not, cause lights. I don't think there's black lights. Well, there are those purple lights that are called black lights, but I don't know. All right, let's check out a little bit of this city, though. You shouldn't worry about using Pokemon that other people consider stronger. No matter how weak Pokemon may seem, there's almost always a strategy that lets you win with it. Yeah, you know, that's why I've got my buddy, um, Gillette here. You know, Gillette is a pretty good Pokemon. Definitely, definitely, with his rock blasting powers, or her rock blasting powers. Unfortunately, she ended up getting paralyzed on her first turn in battle. So, you know, that's not really going to work out for me in this game. Maybe in a regular Pokemon game, I could pull off the nose pass and take it all the way through, but I'm not sure about it in this game because they love them hacks. So this guy, I don't know what he wants to get. 
I literally read that twice, hoping that the second time I would pay attention, and then I didn't pay attention the second time. Uh, so this is something from 4th gen, I know that. This is some kind of music from 4th generation, but I don't know, I can't think of what town is it. Is it like the beginning town, the first town in the game? No, no it's not. You taking on our gym leader Orion yet? You needed his badge to surf across bodies of water, so it's definitely an important part of your journey. Oh! We already made it to the first gym town. Well, I say already, but we're on like episode 7, so this is quite a long game. Even though there's only three uh, gyms in it, I told you guys that it was going to be pretty long. So definitely worth playing through. And when they come out with the future updates, like it's it's definitely, it's going to be even longer. So very worthwhile game to play through, I would say. So far, it's super fun too. Hey Machop, hurry up with that sandwich or I'll throw you in the hole again. Oh my goodness. Where, what the? He's too tired to speak. This man, this guy, you know, he needs to learn a lesson or two from our poop hat. That is not how you treat your Pokemon, buddy. And then again, it's not like there's a Pokemon police out there. Oh, wait. There it is. If you're looking to get out of Sun Touch, you'll need Surf. But I heard you could get a replacement for the HM somewhere. So just like in Zeta Omicron, looks like we're going to have an instant Lapras or some kind of thing. Probably not instant Lapras again. I heard there's a guy in Helio City who sells an item that lets you evolve Pokemon that evolve by trading. I went to Helio City to evolve my Haunter, but I couldn't find the guy. He must be underground or something. Why would you assume that he's underground? Why is that the first thing that he assumes? Orion, the gym leader of the city, is only 11. He's a bit imaginative, but he's a damn good battler. Hmm. Well, if he's 11, then I'm 11, man. That's all I'm gonna say. Orion's a very tricky gym leader to fi face fire. He's, he's supposed to be a fire type leader, but that's not the only type I've seen him use. Oh, come on, man. You can't do that to me. I've been preparing my Pokemon for a big old fight with fire types. And now you're going to tell me that he doesn't only use fire types? Come on, man. Watch him have some grass types. Like, that is going to be the bane of me. Well, even if it is, I mean, earlier we had Sam on our team. But Sam I am, the Ponyta, is no longer on the team because she really wasn't doing anything. And it wasn't like she was going to be a permanent team member. I said that from the beginning. But, you know. If he does pull off some types that can completely destroy our types, because grass can destroy all of those. It can grass can pretty much cover every weakness of fire, can it? Ground, water, and rock. So grass is perfect against um, Pokemon that you're preparing against a fire gym. So I hope he doesn't have any grass types. Now thinking about that, he's probably gonna have something that can do like he is gonna have a grass type because I don't know, what I'm expecting is he's probably going to have some kind of sunny day set up and then bring in a grass type with like solar beam and that is going to suck. Is this the gym? I don't think this is the gym. The door is locked anyway, so we can't even go in here. I see that there's something above the ground. I, I have a feeling maybe there's like a blimp above the city, something going on. This is the uh, Sun Touch exit way, which we can't traverse because we don't yet have Surf. This guy just told us though that uh, once we beat this gym, we're gonna be able to use surf so i guess this is the statue they were talking about there's a big old statue of the auger i still don't get the whole obsession with the auger but you know to each his own and the people of this region sure do love their auger so what the heck are we doing where do i go where is this what what i don't okay maybe these are like giant um yeah, I have a feeling there's like a whole other upper level. That is one huge statue. He's talking about the statue of the auger though. Maybe up here. What is this? It's a large statue. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now I found the statue of the auger. Huh. The sign reads, Jarn the second auger. May his hits be critical and his focus blast never miss. Come on. So dumb. But that still doesn't explain how what we do in this city because I think these are like giant uh, strings or what do you call them giant like things holding up a thing in the sky because there's like a vent over there it's maybe like blowing up air to keep it up in the air but no one in this town is really talking about it so I'm not sure yeah okay where can I find this gym it would be awesome if I could find this gym that you guys speak of so that I may challenge it but you know aha see what did I tell you it has multiple levels but no one seems to want to tell me how to get up to the next level, which is not very helpful. Yes, you have to go to the cloud layer to do that. Just hop on the fan there. Are you kidding me? All I had to do was hop on the fan. All right. Well, I, oh, there's little stairs. Ah, there we go. And now we're up in the clouds. Oh, man, we are just so high right now. Yo, you want some of this? Lava cookie. Hmm, thought you were going to give me something else. Look at this 
Look at this smoke cloud layer going on right now. This is crazy. I wonder if this is a gym. Isn't it disappointing that being burned cuts your physical attack, but nothing happens when you're poisoned? That seems unfair to me. Yeah, that does seem a little unfair, because everything else seems to cut something like... <coughs> Paralysis cuts your speed, which makes sense. Sleep? Well, you get put to sleep. I heard that the director in the broadcast tower was looking for some help with field work. If you're looking for something to do... Hmm. I am indeed looking for something to do, but, you know, now that we're here up in the clouds, I want to just kind of explore like we did with the lower layer, but it seems like not very many people in these towns are really teaching us much. Uh, so let's try and learn Water Pledge, I guess. I'm guessing that only Fedoro can learn that. I don't know if Mistake can actually learn uh, the, whatever, the Lemon Pledge. <laughs> not Lemon Pledge, the Grass one, whatever it's called. I'm pretty sure it's just called Grass Pledge, but... You know, I'm dumb, so let's get rid of Leer and get that Water Pledge going. It does have 80 attack, even if you don't combo it with anything. I know it's meant for comboing, but, you know, it still does pretty good damage early on right now. So let's try and see if no, Mistake is not, I guess, one of the starters. Can't learn that Grass Pledge, so we can't even combo that. That sucks, but, you know, it's okay. Orion's a freaking weirdo. They say he's best friends with a rock that talks. That's not normal, is it? Um... Hmm. I'll get back to you on that one. Would you like to trade? Yes, not to for a Butterfree. I think that's fair. Is it? Not to for Butterfree. See, I was thinking Zatu, but... Oh, I only talk to real trainers. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Little Miss Daisy over there. No. Well, uh, maybe like once we beat the gym leader or something, we can talk to her. He's one heck of a tough gym leader. Everybody is talking about this big gym leader, how he's going to be so big and bad. And probably kick my butt a couple of times. Am I the only one who thinks this whole fan idea is terrible? It's just ugh. It's stupid. I think it's pretty dumb too. But you know, I'm not. I don't. I'm not the, the the leader of this town. I don't have any say in what we need to do here. So finally, we found the gym of this city. But actually, I'm gonna go do some training. So that is probably gonna be the end of this episode. We'll go ahead and check out this last building here. But I have a feeling that there's gonna be more. Than just a little bit to do here. Welcome to the Sun Touch Broadcast Tower. It is here, from here, that we broadcast news and information all over the world. Like what? Tell me about it. Oh, Delta species and even shinies. The only problem is finding these rare Pokemon is more difficult than we thought. That's why they're called rare. Hmm, you don't say, lady. I don't think that these people appreciate me running around in my poop hat everywhere. What if this is actual, like, like real poop on my head right now? Like, what would people's reaction be? In the real world, if you just ran around with poop on your head. Like a poop-shaped hat that is actually made of poop. That would be really weird, but I feel like it would spark some pretty crazy responses. Please stop pointing your camera directly at my poop. It does not like it. Neither does Gillette, the talking rock. It's the boss's kid. She seems to be mute. Oh, well that sucks. What? What? They're both mute? Okay. Was this mute city? Ha 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 ha! Hey, you're not allowed back here. This is where the boss works. No. Oh, I am a trainer. Yes, we're trying to start a new channel based around rare Pokemon, but we need a trainer to make it happen. It pays well, and you can keep any Pokemon you catch. If you're going on an adventure, it won't interfere with that. It'll be like a side job. You can help out from time to time. Yes, I'm willing to help. I'll take you to see the boss then. Ooh, so this might be. Like the uh, missions that we had in Zayden Omicron. This guy also looks like Wolfric from X and Y. Might just be him. This kid seems to be a trainer, boss. He said he's willing to help you out with a new channel. Did he now? What's your name? Very well then, Mose. I'm gonna make you a star. We start filming the pilot episode right away. Let's begin.